Hi, welcome to the unboxing and review of the Trust ODY Silent and Wireless Keyboard and Mouse Set. I recently decided to move away from my SteelSeries M800 Mechanical Keyboard and MSI Interceptor DS100 Gaming Mouse. And this just happened to be readily available and quite a low price, so I thought I'd give it a go. The package shows a nondescript style keyboard and mouse. It is stated to be 50% quieter, but how they reached that metric and what the baseline was isn't indicated. It also offers a speed select button, 13 function keys assuming one is the escape key, and it's also spill resistant. The backside just elaborates on the features and adds some more information. Inside the box we have the legal and compliance information, a quick start guide which illustrates how to get started using the set and how to access the extra function keys, the mouse which comes in a cardboard casing and wrapped in low density polyethylene covering, and finally the keyboard as well. The image on the package is what initially drew me to the set. The mouse seemed to be of a substantial size and the build aesthetics were very appealing. But it's actually quite a small mouse. I've used small mice before but never had an issue with them feeling so small that I had to make my grip smaller. On the bottom there's a little on off switch and cover for the two AAA batteries. One of which is placed deep down and hard to access unless you have some kind of tool. Underneath the cover is also a little receptacle for the USB receiver. On the top we have the left and right buttons, scroll wheel and directly below that the DPI switch. The keyboard is a standard full-sized UK layout keyboard. On the bottom we have collapsible feet as well as a cover for the two AAA batteries. Now let's check out how this keyboard and mouse sounds while in use. The keys offer an unusually strong resistance than what I'm used to, typing being very arduous and having to forcibly having to push down on each key. The E key is double type in most cases as well, I'm not sure if that's due to the extra force required or something else. I've been using this set for a week now and so far the issue still persists. Another thing that I can't quite put my finger on, quite literally, is that the extra keys towards the left seem to be somewhat awkward to access, such as the shift and control keys. I'm constantly hitting the wrong keys, not quite certain if the keys are spaced out a bit more than my SteelSeries keyboard. Apart from that, the enter key and the plus key on the numpad are very spongy and hard to know if they've been pressed or not. The combination of these issues make this very cumbersome to type on. The mouse fared a lot better. Initially the tracking seemed to top out but the DPI setting allows for more ample motion and distance while tracking. And I've gotten somewhat used to the smaller grip but would still prefer something larger. Even so, I still would definitely give this one a miss. If you found this useful, please hit the like button, share the video and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you for watching. Bye.